Hi everyone. So, as we uh, mentioned last video, Atmosphere has been updated to 1.1.0, which allows you to um, run custom firmware on the latest version of Switch's official firmware 13.0.0, as it states just here. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Switch using custom firmware. Uh, so how to download um, the latest version 13.0.0 and how to install the latest version 13.0.0 so it is rather straightforward and um, it is quite as long as you've got the two programs uh, needed or the homebrew apps sorry um, needed to um, use them it's real easy to do so uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to pop back to our switch um, just like this and uh, we're going to go so you need two apps um, one is the all-in-one switch updater and the other one is called daybreak so daybreak is a way of installing uh, the latest um, official switch and uh, firmware and all-in-one updater is how you download it so what we're going to do first of all we're going to go to the all-in-one switch updater um, and make sure before you do anything like of this you have the latest version of Atmosphere installed because when we reboot we're going to need to make sure it's installed. I've already done that um, but what you're going to do, you're going to go down to download firmwares and what this is, this is the official Nintendo firmwares so this is just a link to a website um, that uh, hosts them for us all um, and as you can see at the top there I my current firmware is 12.1.0 um, and the latest version is 13.0.0 so what we're going to do go over to 13.0.0 and download it so I'm going to quickly cut here because it's going to be a 350 meg file or whatever it is um, but you just press continue and it will download it for you and then extract it and put it onto into the right file structure where it needs to be on your switch okay so it's very straightforward to do but um, I'll just go cut here okay after it is finished downloading and extracting as you probably have seen on your own switches this is the next page that comes up so it seems you have a custom theme installed uh, this may cause system to fail or to boot after upgrading your firmware so that's a good warning there um, I've actually disabled my custom firmware so it does um, doesn't fail to boot after and it says do you want to launch daybreak daybreak to install the downloaded system update so yep let's download uh, let's uh, launch daybreak and uh, then what it does uh, so it basically is searching for the correct folder and that the update has been um, extracted uh, fine and it's all there so the thing about using the all-in-one updater is it puts exactly down this exact file and puts it exactly where it needs to be for you so update is valid great and then continue and it says do you want to uh, reset to factory settings so that's like if you want to uh, fresh install or preserve settings I can't really recommend to reset to factory settings that's going to wipe everything off your switch so preserve the settings um, so install driver variant, so FAT32 and XFAT, why not, let's have both of them on there so we can do it. My SD card is FAT32, but do both to cover both. And ready to begin update installation. So going back onto the SD card bit, um, if your card is FAT32 and you know you're only going to use FAT32, then do that. But I can't see why you wouldn't install both FAT32 and XFAT because it covers you for both um, form of SD card and then do you want to begin the installation yes and then that will begin the installation so I'm going to quickly talk here for a little bit here so it's just going to run through a few things uh, as you can see uh, begin update setup and then preparing the update but if you've ever seen these update files there are literally hundreds of them but it's going to blast through them quite quickly here I was thinking of a cut but I don't think I'm going to need to um, so it quickly is extracting these files and installing them um, there we go, that's preparing and then apply an update, all done, and then we just need to reboot. So I'm going to press reboot and it's probably going to go straight to um, a blank screen. 
So let's just get off of this and go to here. So whilst I'm going to get my switch and um, inject the payload as I usually do, um, I'm going to talk to you over this front of here because um, capture cards don't actually capture uh, the front screens of um, payloads and uh, executor or atmosphere or any of that. Uh, those front pages are, for some reason aren't picked up by um, capture cards. So my switch is attempted to reboot so I'm just going to insert my jig and my dongle and reboot my switch and hopefully inject the payload. So apologies I had to uh, make a little cut there because um, I forgot to um, update a file but so everything is fine um, as you can see if I go to my system settings and go all the way down to system uh, at the very top there it says current system version 13.0.0 forward slash atmosphere 1.1.0 so all is working fine um, my uh, switch updated to the latest version and atmosphere is working fine um, I managed to boot some homebrew uh, I don't want to cut to my home screen because every time I show uh, a screen page, a screenshot of all the games, um, I get a copyright strike and this channel will probably be get killed quicker than I can even uh, say it uh, if I keep doing that. So it works fine. You can update perfectly fine. Daybreak worked perfectly. Atmosphere just needed to um, have the correct files copied over and that is one of the issues with copying the files over manually is that you have to, um, if you forget something or miss something, um, it won't uh, boot, but it has booted fine. And uh, lastly, uh, Hakate has been updated as well. So when you use the all-in-one switch update, uh, it will ask you if you want to update the latest version of Hakate, make sure you do that. But all good, um, it worked fine. And it is, as you can see, it is a very straightforward process to update your switch. Um, offline or not offline really um, but using custom firmware instead of going through the Nintendo uh, servers and uh, flawless really um, anyway thank you very much for watching take care guys